Hello everybody. Uh, so this is an assembly guide on a Nordic track desk treadmill. Uh, as you can see, this thing is huge. It weighs, I don't know, at least 400 million pounds. I mean, seriously, you're not going to move this around on one guy. You'll find that out when you get it. They, and they pack it really well, as you can see. So unpacking it is actually a pretty big chore. Make sure you have some scissors. And, um, you know, because you have to be cutting lots of tape. They have uh, wood and styrofoam in there. It's a very nicely engineered packing. Uh, there was no damage at all uh, when I got uh, ours, <coughs> which is nice. So anyway, the first things I pulled out are these arms that hold the desk, and they are serious business. These things are heavy duty. They weigh a lot. Um, as you can see so I mean be careful with it uh, you know uh, there's two of these ones uh, labeled right and ones labeled left um, and these here are the just the plastic covers for the bottom that I'm unpacking right here you can see I made use of some scissors to get it all out of the packing um, that that's just a plastic cover that'll be one of the last things you put on <clears throat> um, I think I'm breaking out the other uh, desk arm, which is a beast, and here's the other plastic cover. All right, and uh, they, the, those little pieces, it, basically these go around the arms. So the little pieces on the inside of the arm and the big pieces uh, cover that goes on the bottom. You'll see. I get to that. So this here, you'd think it's like a box or something. There's nothing in there. It's just a uh, packing material. I think I even look in there. Oh, there's nothing in there. Okay. So that's uh, your hardware. You know, it's just some uh, nuts and bolts. Very clearly labeled. It's nice. More packing stuff. You know, and a little wood. Oh, my goodness. You're going to need bulk pickup just to pick up the packing material. Um... So when I started to get it out, I actually just cut the edges of the box. I mean, this thing is big. It's very going to be difficult to lift it out unless you got like a lot of area and like three or four guys to lift it out. So I cut the corners and I pulled the flaps down. And then I, I just you know pulled it out a little bit. But you can lift the back of it up. In fact, you'll see here in a minute, that's what you have to do because there's a lot more stuff under there that they engineered when they packed it you'll see here uh, actually I pulled it you don't even need to pull it out a little bit right here but I did because I wasn't really aware that there was stuff under there but then I figured it out relatively quick so <clears throat> here we go I'm gonna lift it up hopefully soon yep lift it there it is so it's a, a, a whole box with all kinds of other um, you know materials that you need to build or assemble this so uh, I'm pulling the box out. There we go. Okay. So this has a whole bunch of more goodies, and I get it out and unpack that box before getting the uh, treadmill base out. So I'm looking at this going, oh, yeah, 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 look at all this stuff. So I was trying to break out the scissors and start cutting all the tape and wrapping. Man, do they wrap they, I mean, the wrap in itself must cost a thousand bucks. You just wrap everything. It's good. I mean, they don't want it broken. So, I mean, it's good. And it's a real nice piece of equipment. So, Oh, okay. So this here's like this frame that actually goes on the bottom of the desk. You can see the little levers on the side of it. That's how you raise and lower the desk. And here, this here is a heavy. The desk itself... Uh, the, the platform for the desk is heavy. It is no joke. Like, I am a super duper strong guy with superhero powers. <laughs> Not really, but it was hard to, you know, move this stuff around. They say two men to do this, and, and to be honest with you, you, you need a helper every once in a while. I did most of it by myself, and, and I'd like to say I did the whole thing by myself, but I'll show you where there was one point where I just don't see you able to do it by yourself unless you have a, a, a second ladder that, that fits perfectly. To, you'll see. I'll tell you the part where you're almost definitely going to need some help. 
It was very hard to put that desk on the uh, arms. So anyway, then I pulled the base out, and now we got to unwrap all the goop in here. Um, you know, again, they wrapped it just great. These guys, they, and, you know, lots of good wrapping. Yay. So I just sat there. You're going to need heavier duty scissors for this stuff here. Um, I hope I didn't videotape the whole thing here. But uh, if I did, well, it gives me a chance to talk politics. Not. <laughs> anyway, listen. Also, uh, I didn't figure it out until later on. But the actual treadmill part lifts up and down. Which gives you easy access to doing the bolts on the inside. Uh, of the the base the footing and I didn't really figure that out until a little bit later on so I give you a little advantage knowing that you can lift the actual part with the tread on it the treadmill part there you can lift that up to access underneath you know once you get all this wrapping off and well ultimately what I did is I put a ladder to hold it up uh, while I access the bolts uh, underneath, uh, and you'll see once I'm done with this rather boring part. I'm not sure why I put this whole thing in there. Maybe I was proud of myself for being able to unwrap all this. I have no idea why I put this in the video. It's very boring. I'm sure everybody's clicking the fast forward part right now. It would have been interesting, like if I cut myself and started crying. I guess I, I'm actually surprised I did not cut myself. And man, did I, that, and you see all these little things, it's just wrap, there's like little pieces of uh, particle board that they use. And then they wrap it in styrofoam. Absolutely incredible. The, I mean, this the Nordic track, top of the line. Like, I'm, I'm not just talking about the wrapping. I mean, the device itself is, is well engineered. It is a nice piece of equipment. This thing is no joke. It is not cheesy in any way very very nicely engineered product so and I've used it I've had it now for two well, third three days now and uh, I've been using it and it is um, man it's awesome it, it goes faster than I can go I can't go eight nine miles I mean I'm, I'm capping out at like two and a half miles an hour when I have it in I had to bring the incline down so it's got some wheels on the back here which I really don't understand what the wheels on the back are for because when you move it around there's like little teeny wheels on the front and that's how you move it around I'm not sure what the back wheels are for maybe maybe actually you can move it around uh, but it, it's the thing doesn't lock uh, I don't know maybe you guys can figure it out and put a comment why they have the wheels on the back part okay so here's the big dog uh, arms okay so you might need a second person I just you know braced it against myself while I stuck the bolts in uh, and again you can prop the back up it makes it a little easier I didn't know it here in the beginning so I was just sort of winging it now on this side here uh, you gotta watch out for the wiring uh, you know obviously you don't want to crimp it cut it break it smash it molest it uh, anything be just you know be careful of the wires they're very durable I didn't have any problems uh, and unfortunately I didn't have my uh, GoPro thing aiming properly here for you to get a good look you know I mean it really it's just you gotta uh, line it up and and you put the bolts in to um, to hold it in place uh, you know and then loosely tighten uh, the nuts and bolts now Make sure you put the nuts on correctly. There's like a rounded side of the nut, <laughs> you know. Imagine some people, the small rounded side is going to go on the outside, while the flatter side will go on the fastened side. It's common sense, but, you know, some people don't have experience with these things, so I understand. But uh, anyway, now, also what I did is, you see how low to the ground this is right here? Oh, and I'm, I'm going to... I'm looking at the fasteners, the electronics here. So you want to hook that up at some point. I'm not sure if I, I do it now. But you see how close to the ground this is? You just don't have any wiggle room. What I did eventually here is I got a towel and folded it up, and I propped it under each side of the front just to give it some elevation so I could get my hands under there. I, I suggest doing that right in the beginning. 
Uh, you see how close to the ground all this stuff is? It makes it harder to just fiddle with things. So anyway, I snapped that. It's very uh, simple. If it doesn't snap in easy, you might have it wrong. So just make sure you have it correct when you snap the electronics in there. And uh, yeah, you can see how close to the ground that is. Very hard to work with. So I propped it up with a towel on each side. And uh, so these are the fasteners. Oh yeah, now I'm gonna put the other fasteners in, I guess, because there's you know there's side fasteners and up ones, and uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to show you as much as I can without getting too crazy. I mean, keep in mind that I took probably two hours of video, and you know I knocked it down to like 25 minutes. And by the way, it did not just take me two hours; it probably took me three to do it but I mean I was I ate in the middle of it and I had my son come in and harass me oh you can see I put that towel in there um, to give it some elevation see you, now you can work with it but if you lift up the treadmill part also it, it gives you access much easier um, so just keep that in mind uh, you're gonna, you know, pr have to prop something under the treadmill part to hold it up. But that treadmill part, you know, goes up and down, and it gives you access, easier access. So you're not squimping, you're squeezing your. Am, am I gonna videotape this whole thing, uh, or keep it in here? See, bad editing right there. Fire the editor. Oh wait, <laughs> that would be me. Really? How oh, long did I? I can videotape this whole thing. I did, didn't I? Please don't videotape on that piece until. Don't do it. Ah, yeah, yeah, I skipped it. Okay, so yeah, here I'm gonna put the towel on the other side. Give me some elevation. Still don't know. Haven't thought about that treadmill part going up. That's fine. Don't need it so much for putting these arms on. <clears throat> Again, might be good to have a helper on the arm. You know, otherwise you're going to be holding it up yourself using your shoulder or your knee, you know, that kind of thing. It's a little tricky. It's not impossible. That's not, this is not the hard part, <laughs> I hate to tell you. Uh, okay, so yeah, here I am, I don't know, putting bolts in. I guess I figured it was important for you to see putting the bolts in. Yay! Right? I don't know. I mean, that's the good thing about it. Oh, I am showing you the nut. Remember the side. <laughs> There's two sides to the nut. You can try to put it on the wrong way. So I would avoid that. The flat side is the side you screw in. It's the side that faces whatever you're fastening. The rounded, smaller side is, is the outward side. So I don't even know if you can screw it in the wrong way, to be honest with you. But... So, I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm just still putting in the bolts. These Don't fasten the arms down, by the way. You want them to be loose. Not super loose, I mean, but loose enough that they move. Because when you put this behemoth desk on there, it need, need to be able to move the arms. Okay, so here we are with the desk. It has this little uh, uh, cardboard thing you got to pull off that's on the... This pole, I don't know what it's called. I could look it up in the instructions. It's some kind of weird uh, little pole. <laughs> Grommet, I don't know. Anyway, it's metal and it's supposed to be greased. I, honestly, you should probably put some grease on there, some kind of like garage door grease. Not a lot, but to make it slippery because you have to put this frame on it. And it's very clear where the circle for the frame goes. I don't know if you can see it good here in my editing screen. It's it's a little bit dark. But so you, you gotta put the electronics through the hole on the little plastic piece, the grommet thing is gonna pop out. I, I, it's not gonna stay in during this installation. I mean, it, it, it's like not even close. So anyway, you pull the electronics out. Don't worry so much about the plastic piece. This is kind of a tricky part here. Um, so I, that's why I said maybe put a little bit of lube, some kind of lube on there. I did not do it, and it was rather difficult. So you, you're going to have to squiggle it. You, you turn it left and right, left and right. 
up, you know, squiggle it a little bit. It needs to be squished. It will need to be flush. This has to go all the way down. Look, so there's no gap in the bottom. Afterwards, then you put the plastic grommet in because it's very unlikely that it, it stayed in. So you put the electronics through the plastic grommet and that won't go in. So <laughs> you're going to put it in and it's like, what? How do you get this thing in? It has to be flush because there's a, uh, a, a little groove in the top where a pin has to go. And you can't push it in unless you're Superman. And I don't know if Superman's putting one of these together. So I got the blocks. Uh, from the packing material, these are wood blocks, so they're they're nice things to use. And I put it on the edge of the plastic grommet. I got a hammer, and I gently just you know pounded the the plastic past the groove in the metal. And uh, I should have spent a little bit more time on showing this, but uh, you know I didn't want to show you guys all my frustration of going through figuring this out because uh, you know it's not easy but anyway just tap it down until that little now here's the pin the the little thing that goes in that groove so you get around the electronics and if you didn't get it fast you know the frame on there properly down far enough you won't have access to the groove in the top of that metal pole so and anyway the pin it just goes right in there if you got it down far enough but that's how I did it, and it worked good, and it didn't damage anything. Uh, I wouldn't use the hammer all by itself. You know, use the little wood pieces, because the wood or the particle board is very uh, soft. And it's unlikely to damage anything. So that's how I did it. And then you connect, I think that's the ground wire. It's very simple, clear. You just connect that. And uh, so this was a tricky part right here. I, I think that that... Uh, um, and, and they're not super clear in the manual, which is fine. All right, so here we go. This thing is a beast. It must weigh at least 7,000 pounds, maybe a little more. It's a heavy thing. Uh, don't ask me about where to put these, the wires. I mean, obviously, when you put it on, look, you're going to need a second person for putting this desktop on. I mean, you got to have a second part. I mean, it's so, I, I try to do it by myself. Now, what I did is I got a, a ladder. And you see the ladder now on the right-hand side of the screen? I put a, a, a towel. So now I have basically three things to hold the desk up. And that still wasn't enough. I still needed help. Uh, so I had all three things. It just wouldn't slide far enough. Now, if you have a fourth thing you can put on the treadmill and use the fourth thing on the treadmill to prop it up, you might be in good shape. But you can see with the three things, but it has to go further back. And it's you just can't hold, it's so heavy and unwieldy. You just need, and, and I, I can't show you my second person because it was my wife and she yelled at me that if I put her in the video, she's gonna beat me to death. And I'm, I don't wanna be beaten to death. So I couldn't show, uh, but she didn't have to do much. All she needed to do was really just hold it steady for me while I got, I slid it in to the mounts on the frame on the bottom. So this is after she uh, left the room because I had called, help, and she came and helped me. Okay, so anyway, I put, you, you know, it, it just fastens on the poles on the bottom. You can see on the bottom of the frame, if you have a helper, you can get under there and put it in, and it fits fine. It's just doing it by yourself. It's just, man, good luck. And, and oh, that was my second helper right there. Okay. So I'm trying to show you how, you know, it went down. You just got to make sure everything is, is correct. Not, the electronics aren't crimp, crimped. Um, and see where the bolts go. Uh, that and they didn't need to be tightened. You know, just put them on there loosely at first until you get all the other bolts in place. <coughs> and, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory how it fits under there. Uh, there is like this little groove, and you want to make sure you slide it into the groove properly. And, you know, I just did the best I could under the circumstances to get the video. The lighting's not the best. I'm not a professional. Uh, so I just do the best I can to get you... You know, some help. And, and, and the reason I do that, oh, okay. 
I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, I see. Look at me. I figured it out. Look at that. Oh, that goes up. Oh, my God. I could have accessed those bolts underneath. Yeah, so now I'm going to crank down the bolt. And then I put the ladder there to hold that up. So uh, now I'm doing this because I'm going to crank the bolts down. Listen, I also suggest uh, getting a ratchet. Uh, I forget the size. Uh, it was, I think, a 14 millimeter uh, was the uh, socket size. And... Um, and I would get a crescent wrench, not not the adjustable wrench. And the reason is the socket may not be able to tighten it enough. So I use the socket to get it tight. And then I use the crescent wrench to crank it down. Once everything was kind of snug, then I went around with the crescent wrench and tightened it up good. I mean, obviously, you don't want to break stuff, you know. Um... So that's what I did is I snugged them, all of the bolts down with the ratchet. You can see how much e it's it's impossible to do this uh, if you don't pull the, the treadmill up in my opinion. I don't think you can tighten these put these bolts in without or tighten them anyway uh, properly without uh, lifting it up. So uh, yeah and you got to prop something under there I guess uh, because I'm not sure if I've fastened the bolts in the top yet. I may have cranked those down already. We'll see. But anyway, so that's what I'm doing right now is I am definitely cranking down the bottom bolts. And uh, we're good. I mean, the hard part really was that uh, desk, putting the desk in there. You know, tightening this stuff up is pretty routine. Um... And I'm going to show you the whole thing of ratcheting it. Yay, because nobody's ever seen this before. So interesting. Uh, it's just, you know, I, <laughs> I should have went through the editing. I, 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 you know, you go through it the first time and edit it. And that's when you take out the big chunks. And then really I should go through a second time Oh, here I'm using the crescent wrench to crank it down after using the ratchet. You should go through it a second time to fine tune it. You know, actually watching it real time. But it's so time consuming and boring <laughs> that I don't do the second time. It's like not proofreading, you know, a report or something like that. And you should always proofread a report, right? Because no matter how much of a genius you are, you're not a genius. You're goofing up that report if you don't proofread it. You proofread it, you find all kinds of them. Some of it, like, just doesn't make sense. Always proofread it, and that's what I should have did. Ooh, there's my helper. Oh, so here's the plastic pieces for the bottom. Um, eh, these are, you know, they just snap in. That's it, man. No bolts, nothing. You might have to get rid of the towel. I don't think I could leave the towel there. So you can see it just snaps in. Uh, the little pieces goes, the little piece goes on the inside, uh, and they both, you know, go around the arm. And it's just really just a matter of figuring this out. You gotta fill with it. You can see I had to get the uh, the towel. Uh, wouldn't work. Yeah, my helper. He he's he's like uh, very helpful. That little boy. Very helpful. Wait to get on it and test it. it. Makes me nervous, but he has to test it. He loves it. Um, so anyway, yeah, I did this side, and I guess I'm gonna sit here and show you me fiddling with it. But I think I got it. And then you gotta do the other side. And again, uh, the little piece goes on the inside, big piece on the outside. No screws, just snaps into place. And I guess I did completely fasten the top bolts. You might want to go around and fasten all the bolts again. Um, but that's it. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I, I know I like it. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's a good piece of equipment. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope it helped. Am I still here? Because <laughs> I could have added at the end. <laughs> All right.